For this Amazon brand, we increase profit by $20,000 in 30 days by moving from quartile to skinny size. In this video, I'm going to share with you the results, what we did and how you can do the same for your brand. So let's get started. Okay, the first problem we have seen in this account was the, and the, for all accounts that are coming from a black box software, so Quartile, Perpetua, M19, this software where we have no clue on what they are doing is that there is always a problem in terms of budget allocation. What does it mean? That we are not putting the budget into the right product. And right now we will see that if we analyze the account before we took over, we see that we were losing money on a lot of product. Because in this software, in this case Quartile, they set up a budget, an overall budget, and they spread this budget across the child aging. But they don't look at the overall sales of the account. That is the problem. So let's go in the in screen insights and analyze this. There is a free 30 days trial. So I highly suggest to test the software if you're not using it under the tab dashboard. And if you select the parenthesis and sort by ad spend, I'm analyzing the data range October. So before we started working with them, so I can show you the problem. And if you scroll down, you can see that here we were losing a lot of money on products that were not selling much. And here another one, here another one, here another one. And what, what was the main problem here? That we were losing money and the, the spend for our PPC was that we were putting this spend in broad match campaign. So sponsor a product broad match. What is the problem here? When a product is losing money, we don't want to put the spend in campaigns that are discovery campaigns where we get a lot of clicks and no sales. And broad match is one match type that is doing that. So if you have a product that is losing money, what do we suggest to do and what we did for this client? Put our budget into sponsored product exact, sponsored product phrase, sponsored product, product targeting, campaigns where you have more control over the, your, your clicks. So this is the first problem. So I highly suggest to analyze your, your budget for each parenthesis. And what we did for this client is to set up a target take -offs and take -offs on a parenthesis level. So we don't work anymore on a overall target tacos and target echoes. We work more on a parenthesis level. Okay, this is the goal for this parenthesis. This is the goal for this parenthesis. This is the goal for this parenthesis. So for the PPC manager or for you as a founder, it's easier to find where is the problem. So now in the naming of skinny sites, we can see that there is a uh, the target takeos and takeos on a parenthesis level. So it's very easy for us to understand if there is a problem or not. Okay, this is the first thing. So I suggest to analyze your spend across your parenthesis, see if you're losing money for some of your parenthesis, and set up some target takeos and takeos on a parenthesis level. If you want to have a video about how to set up these targets, please comment the target in the comments and I will make a video about that. So let's go and check the second point. Okay, the second thing I want to share with you is uh, a campaign that we highly suggest to avoid and uh, let's check it together. This campaign in this advertising console is this one. It's a campaign that looks amazing in the advertising console, but is not performing. That is not, a, this is not a true SOS. And this is a VCPM campaigns. We did a video already in the past on why this campaign is not performing and how you can check the true performance for this campaign. But I highly suggest to stop this campaign. As you can see, we stopped this campaign. And once we stop these campaigns, look at what happened to our organic sales. Our organic units exploded because look at the PPC sales from 59, so 66, 61 to 53%. And this is such an important point because if we want to sell our Amazon business, the the, the investor that wants to buy your, pro, buy your business will also look at your PPC sales percentage. So the higher the PPC sales percentage, the riskier is your business. So we highly suggest to stop these campaigns because they're still your organic sales. They're making your business uh, looking bad for an investor. So I highly suggest to stop this campaign and focus on uh, the foundational campaigns. What are the foundational campaigns? Sponsor a product exact, sponsor a product phrase, Sponsor a product, product targeting. Focus on this campaign. Other campaigns that we decided to stop are more about the broad match campaign. So if, if for a product, as we discussed before, if you are losing money for a product, so if you analyze your, uh, your budget allocation 
and you see that you're losing money for one product, we highly suggest to decrease the wasted ad spend. So the campaigns where you're getting clicks and orders. And these campaigns usually are broad match campaign, a sponsored brand broad match, sponsored brand video broad match, category targeting, and so on. So decrease the waste of the ad spend, especially if your goal is to improve the profitability. Make sure to target exactly what you want to target. So if you target the red shoes, you get clicks on your red shoes and not other search terms. So um, this is what we did. Decrease the spend for broad match campaign because we know that the broad match is increasing the wasted ad spend, so it's increasing the tacos. So if you want to increase the profit, you need to decrease this campaign. Okay, the third thing we have done for this for this account is to decrease the number of campaigns enabled in this account. Because uh, what we have seen for quart in this case for quartile is that they created too many campaigns. When we have too many campaigns, we start to have a lot of campaigns with a few clicks and no sales. And what happens here that we get a lot of wasted ad spend and so our profit decrease overall. Let's check together. So for this month from, uh, from October, from the middle of October to the end of October, and I, if I select uh, say is equal to zero and I'm analyzing only the campaigns that spend more than, uh, let's check, spend more than zero, zero, one, that spend something and didn't get any order, we have a 150 campaigns that spent in total $1,000 with no sales, 529 clicks with no sales. This is a lot of wasted ad spend, you know? If we decrease this amount, we put it into profit because these campaigns most likely are not working. And these campaigns are getting one, two clicks. They, they are not useful to grow the account. It, and they're very difficult to manage because if you don't get enough clicks, you cannot optimize your campaign. So as you can see, we stop a lot of these campaigns now. So we have way less campaign now. So if analyze how many campaigns you have, ch check the last 30 days, select a filter, say it's equal to zero, and analyze all your campaigns with zero order. Let's try to minimize as much as possible these campaigns. We don't want wasted ads. So this is uh, for the campaign. I want to share with you a quick tip to increase your bottom line quicker and is to go into the targeting tab in your advertising console. And here you can see all your keywords inside your account. Okay, here you can select along the range, like for example, uh, let's say last uh, 60 days. Select uh, targeting, uh, target active status enable, campaign active status enables, and you can create uh, these uh, filters here, says equal to zero. And you can analyze all the search terms that got uh, clicks and no spend. Only all the keywords, sorry. So, and here you can take action on this. So you can stop them, you can decrease the bid, or you can, uh, or, or you can do something else, or you can negate them. But uh, thanks to this tab, you can quickly find what is the wasted ad spend. So while you're spending, you're not getting sales, and you can decrease this. So we've seen that more, a lot of sellers are not using this. So we highly suggest to use this tab. And because this can help you to take action faster in your account. These are the four things that we highly suggest to do if you're struggling with profit. Check your wasted aspen, try to decrease this as much as possible, manage your budget better. And uh, I really hope this video was useful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment below. And thank you so much. Ciao.